Hey there, it's Kevin Ward with Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping real estate agents get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And I wanted to put out this quick video today about one of the most important skills and one of the most important practices for you to learn if you're going to learn to influence people and get people to say yes to you, and that is to learn the power of a smile. Now this is one of those videos or these questions that I get quite often when people watch my videos or uh, they see, I, I did a video a while back called the, the Importance of Having a Yes Face. And I got a lot of feedback on that from people saying, I need to learn how to smile better. I've never smiled. I don't. I didn't realize how much I didn't smile. And then you vid, you do a videotape of yourself and you're going like, ah, I look totally bored or dead or worse, mad. And it, see, here's the thing. When you watch a video, for example, and if you're not doing video marketing, you need to get into the 21st century. This is not the 1900s anymore and video is the wave of the future. It's so important in terms of connecting with people and in terms of differentiating yourself as a real estate professional. So I get this, that people say, well, I, I, don't, I don't smile when I'm talking. I look worried. And if you'll watch people on videos, some of them, they may have great stuff, but they look worried when they talk. And they can be even more serious than they can talk about. This is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make. And just watching their face, it looks like they're in pain. They look like they're in distress. And you don't want to look that way. You don't want to look heavy. You want to look light. You want to look like you're having a good time. And when they see the thumbnails of your videos, I see so many thumbnails which means it's that screenshot it's that still shot of you at the beginning or end of a video and it looks like this and it looks totally bored or worse, dead. <laughs> so you don't wanna look that way. So you've gotta be smiling from the beginning. So I wanna to talk to you though about how do I develop what I call the smile habit. The smile habit because here's the thing is Literally, people say, well, I'm not very good at smiling. It's a habit. That's all it is. You can create the habit. And I want to go over five quick strategies, five simple steps to develop the habit of smiling more. It'll make you way more effective with people. You'll enjoy yourself more and you'll find that literally when you're when you wear a smile, your, when your physiology, your body does one thing, your emotions tend to follow. As Tony Robbins said, motion creates emotion. So this motion of saying, ha, 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 will create the emotion. Even if you don't feel it, you can fake it till you make it. It really works. It's really, really powerful. So how do you do it? Well, the first step, if you wanted to create the smile habit, is you've got to actually decide that having a smile matters. You've got to decide that it's actually important to you. You've got to want to learn how to smile and, and, and uh, develop that habit. So decide that it actually matters. Once you make that decision, then the second thing you're going to have to do is the good old way you learn how to do almost anything, and that is you're going to have to actually practice smiling. Okay, let's do a smile exercises. Now, don't you hate pictures when t you get a picture made of it and, you're s and it's a fake smile because it looks, it's totally not you, it doesn't look right and you look at some people's pictures and it says, and, and you're like, that person is so photogenic, how do they do that? Well, here's how they do it. You learn how to make your smile look not fake and so you have to practice. The challenge is if I practice a fake smile, what am I going to get really good at? A fake smile. I don't want to wear a fake smile because a fake smile, well, it just looks fake. So what do you got to do? Practice a real smile. How do you do that? Well, this third one, number three, step number three is the magic. Are you guys ready? Here's the magic of how you learn the smile habit. And it's simply this. Learn how to humor yourself. Okay? It's that simple. Now watch. <laughs> I just humored myself. Now, how did I humor myself? I don't know. I just decided that this was funny and I laughed. So here's what I'm going to, I want you to practice doing. Practice humoring yourself. Practice thinking of something funny. Practice thinking of something that's hilarious. Find a picture on the internet or of some, your favorite uh, comedian or somebody that just cracks you up that makes you laugh or maybe a cartoon or maybe a, a, a picture of a cute puppy or a cat or some funny, you know, one of the funny memes, those pictures that you find on Facebook that just is hilarious. And Take a picture of it, uh, t take that and make a picture of it, print it out and stick it on your wall. And then look at it and go like, <laughs> now here's, I'm going to give you the secret. 
If you watch my videos at the very beginning and end of every video or when you see the thumbnail, one of the things you'll notice is I'm always smiling. Now, I don't smile 24 seven, okay? But I had the habit of smiling. Why? Because I created the habit. Well, here's how I do that. I'm getting ready to start this video and I know that YouTube, when I put it up, it's gonna start with a thumbnail of my face frozen forever. And thousands and thousands of people are gonna see it. So if I look bored, fewer of them are gonna click on that video and watch it. So what do I wanna do? I wanna start with a smile. So how do I do it? Before you see the video come on, here's what I'm doing. <laughs> And I gotta do something to get me humored. And then I get humored and I've got it made. Just practice humoring yourself. And you can literally just chuckle a little bit and with the, with, with the motion, it creates the emotion. So get the emotion behind the smile and the smile becomes natural and no longer you're faking it. You're not having to pose anymore because you're actually smiling. I'm actually happy, I'm actually humored. And it's just a, literally a skill that you develop by practicing. Now. Let me tell you another one. Now I'm talking to somebody, you're in a face-to-face -face conversation, you're, li you're at a listing presentation or wherever you are and you're, ta you're out showing buyers and they're talking. How do you look not bored? Now I'm gonna tell you something that you probably or may or may not be aware of and that is when you listen to people, you look too serious and you don't look happy. And when you don't look happy when they're talking, you don't look interested. And when you don't look interested, they don't feel valued and they don't feel as important, they don't feel as special. And when they don't feel special, they don't like you as much. So how do you engage with people when they're talking and listen in a way that makes them feel like you're interested in them. Well, here's how you do it. Smile, but it can't be fake. So here's a very simple strategy that you can learn to smile better. And it's what I call the mouth open, the mouth open strategy. Now I learned this from a, uh, from a professor when I was in college that was one of the best communicators I'd ever known. But even more important, when you spoke, it always, I always felt like he was on the edge of his seat interested in what I was saying. And I realized, how does he do that? And here's what I realized, because I watched him then do some interviews in the class I was taking, and I watched him do some, do some interviews where he was listening a lot, and here's how he listened. Instead of listening like this, he listened like this. And just having your mouth open, just showing a little teeth, it creates more of a pleasant expression that looks a little more, like you're a little more happy, a little happier, <laughs> a little happier. So instead of looking like this, open your mouth. And I'm literally just listening, mouth open, and I look happier. You don't sit there and go like this, it's not, it's not, that doesn't work, okay? It looks fake, it looks posed. You just sit there with your mouth open. It's the mouth open, it's the mouth open strategy. And when it, it, it makes, it, it, when it causes you to be conscious of this, of the situation, what they're saying, but it, it, you come across, what you're communicating to them is, I'm excited, I'm interested in hearing what you say. In fact, there is an old saying that whenever some, you hear a news that we, makes your jaw drop, when something is really interesting, we go, oh, right? So literally opening your mouth shows interest. You just don't go, <laughs> you just wanna open it a little bit because you're just interested, not in shock, okay? So it's the mouth open strategy. It's so, so powerful. And then the fifth strategy, and this kind of puts it all together, and that is you'd, you'd never really know what you look like until you look at yourself. And so this is my suggestion is that you gotta get serious about this and you've gotta post a mirror in your office, where, you, where you're on the phone, where you're normally talking to people, you probably don't wanna take a mirror to the listing presentation. Yeah, a little weird there, probably. But put it on your wall in your office where you prospect so that you can see yourself and so you can practice the smile. In your car, you have a mirror. In your, in your uh, bathroom, you have a mirror. In your bedroom, wherever you, at home, get in front of the mirror and practice your conversations. When you're role playing, when you're practicing scripts, always have a mirror in, mirror in front of you so you can see yourself and you can make sure that you're practicing the smile habit. Here's what I will promise you. It will make a huge difference in the way people respond and react to you. And when they respond to you better, you have more influence. And when you have more influence, you get more yeses. And when you get more yeses, you get more income. It changes everything in your life and it changes everything in your business. So practice it, develop it, and master the smile habit. Love to hear your comments and your uh, thoughts on it or questions. Please post them and I'll look forward to talking to you real soon.